We've got one of the finest concert halls in the world, next to one of the finest conservatoriums, just as a physical building, you know, both are incredible. It's like this arts hub in Sydney. It's just a wonderful place for a young child to come to study. Our school is in the top group of schools in the state academically as well as musically. So that gives them the best possible outcome when they, if they choose not to pursue music as a career, they're in a position to choose any other number of possible careers because they've had a great all-round general education. Can anyone think of any animals that do live in the desert? Scorpions. Scorpions, yeah. Scorpions, yeah. Frogs. Currently we have an enrolment of 158. So it will always be a very special specialist school. Right from the beginning, when the first students came into this Conservatory High School in 1918, they were located within the Conservatorium. Being located within the same building gives lots of privileges, I think, to the children. It gives them access to world-leading tutors, gives them aspects to seeing what university life would really be. playing with him rather than against him. Yeah, yeah. You see what I mean there? Yeah. We are a small school. We're a very select school. We select the students uh, on their general ability, but first and foremost, we select students on their musical potential. We judge musical potential in a number of ways. Firstly, just straight oral acuity, that they have the ability to hear and discriminate orally. The other thing we do, of course, is we have them sit a range of musicality tests, whereby they are able to demonstrate what they have innately as musicians, but also what they can do on the spot. There's not much in the way of uh, trouble at our school. Uh, there's more... Um, passion, there's more energy uh, and there's more learning that can go on here in, in, a, in a week than I've seen in many schools in a term or, or you know, even longer. It's, it's an amazing place. Handling the students at Conservatorium High School due to their individuality is one of the interesting things about our job. At the moment, the school is working with the tertiary side of the conservatorium towards a performance of Britain's War Requiem. So many aspects of the performance can be mined for very, very worthwhile projects in history, geography, politics. I'm hoping that it is going to be a richly rewarding performance for the students. This is a very significant step in bringing the two arms of the conservatorium closer together. It includes massive orchestral forces and choral forces. The whole school is the Conhigh Choir, so uh, every student in the school is a part of the War Requiem performance. This coming weekend, on a long weekend, they'll be here when most of the rest of Sydney disappears. They're back here at the Con, uh, making great music and loving every minute of it. I love this work. I love being a teacher and a musician. In most schools, there's a small percentage of the students who want to do what you do. When I come into school every day, Every single child, every kid in the school does my thing. And so there's this amazing connection that is visceral. I think music makes them happy. It allows them to dream. It allows them to imagine. Um, it allows them to create. But firstly, it makes them happy. And when they're happy, they do the creations, they do the dreaming. 
Um, and that's part of growing. We go to great pains to make sure that our students, whilst we want them to have their dreams, we want them also to keep their feet on the ground whilst dreaming of what might be. And the very best that we can do for them is to provide the finest general academic education, in addition, of course, to the best in music education, but the very, very best general academic education, because that is the only safety net for those wishing to pursue a career in music. <laughs> Thank you.